Element 4, Work Equipment Hazards and Risk Control. 1. Identify the mechanical hazards related with the work equipment. Crushing. Shearing. Entanglement. Cutting or severing. Drawing in or trapping. Impact. Friction or abrasion. High pressure fluid injection. 2. Outline the precautions that should be taken in order to ensure the safety of employees carrying out maintenance work on process equipment. Maintenance should only be carried out by competent staff. Ensure isolation of power source is confirmed. Stored power should be released or secured to prevent accidental discharge. Where power cannot be isolated live parts should be covered with insulating materials. Use of personnel protective equipment which are insulated like rubber gloves. Running of dangerous moving parts at low speed when need to work in live machines. Provision of maintenance guards which are allowing access to required areas only. Use of handling aids to prevent chance of manual handling. Use of a safe system of work like permit to work to be implemented. Three. Identify precautions that would need to be considered before welding work can commence. Maintain a safe workplace, if possible. Move the material to be welded or cut to a safe location designated specifically for welding and cutting. Keep fire hazards away areas for welding, cutting, and heating must be kept clear and free of flammable liquids and solvents. Provide fire barriers. If welding or cutting cannot be performed in a designated location or away from combustible materials, provide metal sheets or a fire-resistant screen to prevent heat, sparks, and slag from reaching these materials. Be alert for cracks or crevices, sparks and slag can travel long distances. Provide fire extinguishing equipment, be prepared to put out fires. Service able fire extinguishers, fire hoses, or sand buckets should be on hand. Consider the need for a fire watcher. Operators may not become aware of a fire starting while welding or cutting. Know the local fire codes for welding and cutting. Inspect the work area after completing operations, make sure there are no hot sparks or hot metal which could start a fire later. Before welding or cutting in a new location for the first time, please do the risk assessment. They may know of some serious fire hazard that might otherwise be overlooked. 4. 4. Outline control measures to reduce the risk to workers when using non-powered hand tools. Tools must be suitable for the task that they are going to perform and for the environment in which they are to be used. Non-sparking tools, do not produce sparks when struck, is suitable for use in a potentially flammable atmosphere. Users should be given appropriate information, instruction and training. Many workers serve some form of apprenticeship. Or spend several years in training where they acquire an understanding of safety and the use of the tools for their trade, but not. All workers come to the workplace with this knowledge, which may seem like common knowledge to others. Tools should be visually inspected routinely before use to ensure they are in an acceptable condition. This should be done by the user. Spot checks by line management will ensure that users comply. Substandard tools should be maintained or discarded. Tools should be maintained in a safe condition. Blades should kept sharp and handles firmly attached. Supervision is important to ensure that safe working practices are adhered to and misuse does not become commonplace.